The Spurs, Rockets, and Suns have all had their way with the Jazz lately. And if Hayward goes off tonight for Boston, well, Jazz fans are going to lose it. But Rudy Gobert is looking forward to seeing his old friends again. Yeah, yeah. It's always exciting, you know, to to, to, to face those guys. You know, uh, we played together for many years, five five years, and two years before Ennis. So it's uh, it's always fun. Well, I just think it's our consistency defensively. I think we've had moments where we're really good, but we're not doing it consistently enough. This transition uh, has been a big key on us uh, for us the last few days. Um, we're, we're allowing too many easy buckets. You know. It's, hard, it's tough to defend where you're giving up layups and dunks and transition. So getting back and communicating is going to be big for us. Well, the 6A basketball playoffs take center stage at the Huntsman Center today. Let's check out today's quarterfinal action. The top seed, Davis, taking on Westlake. Trevin Lanhart, silky smooth on the reverse. He led the darts with 16. Davis has just one loss this year. Dylan Paranode with the left-handed hook. Westlake was down 21, but they rallied to within six. Noah McCord with the steal in the bucket, but Davis holds on. Nice pass from Leonard to Spencer Vernon for the hoop in the foul. He had 11. The final 62 to 49. Davis will take on Lone Peak in the semifinals on Friday. The second seed, Fremont, taking on West Jordan in another quarterfinal. The Silver Wolves can flat out shoot it. Kip Calder, he hit five three-pointers himself. West Jordan hanging tough for a while. Grady Gilbert led the Jaguars with 15. Fremont, though, put up 27 points in the first quarter. Teague Voorhees right in front of you. He had 11. Mitch Stratford had 17. This guy made five of seven three-pointers. Telling you, this team can shoot 16 three balls today. They also attacked the rim. Baylor Harrop with 17 points. The final 77-54. Fremont is on to the semifinals. And it's Layton moving on as well. They beat Pleasant Grove. Layton playing some D. Carter Mayfield with the steal. Takes it the distance, plus the foul. PG stayed close for a while. Jordan Ross taking it strong, but the Vikings had no answer for big Ethan Potter. Look at the big guy throwing it down in the paint. Potter led the way with 18 points, 10 rebounds, the final 73-59. So it's going to be Layton against Fremont in the 6A semifinals on a Friday. The girls' 6A quarterfinals going on tonight. We'll